Hi everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am sharing my virtual Frocktails dress, Macaws M7800. So I made this dress for hashtag virtual frocktails on Instagram. This is one of the patterns I picked up from Macaws out of print sale. I scored this pattern for $1.19. I made the body of view B with the sleeves of view C. So view B is just a pretty simple shift dress shape that is finished with facings. There is a button and keyhole on the back. And then the sleeves of view C are a little bit less dramatic than the sleeves of view B, which is exactly what I wanted. So this dress is just a pullover dress with side bust that there is no other shape in the dress no back that or anything there is a center back seam though and the sleeve from right here it then has a poof and then a cuff so it's a pretty simple dress very very easy to sew up finish with facings like i said before you only have the side seams and the center back seam no zipper just the one little keyhole with the button even the sleeves were pretty easy to put together so all in all i would say that this is a beginner friendly dress my fabric is from fabric matte fabrics and this is perfect for my lifestyle perfect for where i live it's a very tropical fabric it's a very very vibrant very pretty fabric and when i posted this on instagram everybody loved the fabric when i bought this fabric i actually got the end of the bolt so i got about three yards in total and i used just over one and a half for this dress so i do have a little bit left i did accidentally cut the sleeves wrong and has to cut over the sleeves so that took away some so i think i have about one yard left which is enough to make some sort of top the fabric is a stretch cotton so it does have a little bit of stretch in it and it's not like a cotton satin or anything it's a very lightweight cotton like it's pretty much a shirt in but with a little stretch percentage size wise i cut the size 14 which is actually one size smaller than was recommended according to the finished garment measurements and I went down that one size because I knew that the fabric had stretch and it's actually a good thing I went down that size because there is a lot of room in this dress there's ample space and actually the shoulders are a little bit too broad for me I don't know if you can tell but the shoulder line is all the way over here and my arm is right here so uh, because of that the movement is a little bit restrictive so if I like bend or move my arms, the entire dress <laughs> moves. So I have to be very careful. I actually think I'm gonna let down the hem just a little bit so that I can actually wear this to church. Because right now, it's right above my knee. It's like maybe two inches above my knee and I can wear it to church, but because of the arm restrictions, I'm a little bit worried that with movement, it's going to ride all the way up. I did have to add elastic to the cuffs because these cuffs, I'm, I'm stretching the elastic back to the original length. This is how big the cuff was on my hand. So this was not going to work. It was not looking very flattering at all. So I did go in and add one inch elastic. In terms of changes, I made a ton of alterations as usual. I shortened the waist length by one and a half inches, which seems to be more and more my standard shortening amount both for big four and indie i also shortened the skirt by an additional one inch so in total the dress is shortened two and a half inches for reference i am five four and i'm going to insert pictures so you can see where it hits me with a one inch hem the sleeve i also shortened one inch because otherwise it would have looked like if it was trying to be a long sleeve but didn't quite make it so i wanted it to look like a three-quarter sleeve so the only thing i'm noticing now is that my right arm is bigger than my left so the elastic in the right feels a little bit closer and it tends to like stay up poofy but then this one drops so then i have to pull this one up a, a little bit more so i either need to let out some of this one or take in some of this one just so that they're even so next time i just know to cut the cuffs a little bit smaller which i actually don't mind because then this would gather more to fit the cuff and i think that would look a lot better because i'm not really getting much much poof 
even with the elastic. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with how this dress turned out. Everybody loved it. And it's definitely a pattern I can see myself using again with some changes because I definitely need to make a narrow shoulder adjustment on this one. Luckily, I did not need a full bust adjustment, I guess because my fabric has some stretch. It just conforms to the body perfectly. This is the side view and the back. And like I said, I'm going to insert some pictures. I think I also have a little video clip of me modeling in the mirror for Instagram stories. So I'll insert that as well. Just so you can see it in motion. So yes, let me know what you think about my new tropical shift dress. It's so funny that I'm like making all of these pretty dresses and we can't go anywhere anyway. But at least I'm preparing for when we finally get to go outside. When we finally get to go outside, I may end up wearing this at the grocery store because I'm making all the pretty things and I cannot wait to wear them. And I know a lot of you can relate. But I had a lot of fun modeling this around the house for virtual frock tails and having a little photo shoot right here in my sewing room for the first time ever. But I think I found a new spot. So while we're in isolation, that is going to be my new photo shoot spots also i was wondering if you guys would like to see a sewing room tour let me know if that is something you would be interested in because i would love to film that for you guys like in here has been a whole journey there are a lot of diys going on in this room but i'm really really proud of it i worked really hard and like this is my special place where i come to get away from everything and i don't know maybe my ideas can help somebody who is trying to sort out the sewing room yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me stop rambling. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you have not already done so. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And thank you for joining me for today's short review. I will catch you in my next one. Bye!